walk with God, you know? And if somebody's going to hurt me, then they, they can hurt me. But it doesn't happen like that. They respect me because, you know, some people might take it as people who don't know me as he's a show off. But they don't realize that I'm trying to show these little kids that grew up where I grew up. I grew up poor. I grew up wearing the same clothes to school for a whole year. Switching my shirt and pants, two outfits every day, holes in my sneakers. You understand? We were poor. There's not no, we was not, you know, uh, this, this is not no, we grew up in the suburbs. This We grew up in the South Bronx. I'll tell you one thing, we ate good food every night. We had a beautiful family and we had fun and we loved each other. And we had, a, uh, um, and I wouldn't change how I grew up. You know, so it's important that if I'm successful, if I can't go back to where I grew up and where I was raised, then I don't want it. You know, and I got to show these little kids that, yeah, you could drive a car like me. And that's why I'm always going to schools. That's why I'm always talking to the kids and letting them know, you know, it's fine to love hip hop music. It's fine to love um, music, but your real role models are your parents. They the guys working every day hard for you. They the guys paying the bills, bringing the food. You must appreciate your mother, your grandmother, your your father, you know, for doing the right thing. Me, I'm just, you know, an entertainer. What I do is I, I, I create songs. It's like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 you don't got to be like me. You know, you be like your parents and, and that'd be great. Um, from day one, it was Ruby D. And I come from the Bronx where hip hop started. And Ruby D uh, was the first Puerto Rican I ever heard rap. And he would say, you, 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 you couldn't tell I was Puerto Rican by the way that I'm speaking. And I used to watch him as a little kid. He's from my block, play softball all the time with the ranch boys. I'd be like, wow, Ruby D, you know? So I made sure that when I got famous, when I, I would play baseball in the middle of the Bronx so that little kids could look at me and be like, yo, Fat Joe, he comes over here and plays baseball, you know? And um, Ruby D, then you got Charlie Chase, you got Whippy Wop, uh, Whip Wop, you got uh, Tito from the Phyllis Four, who was one of the best uh, uh, MCs out, and he just happened to be Boricua. Um, like, you know, you got the Rock Steady crew, you got all the break dancers, the graffiti crew, the tats crew, which are still like the best in the world today. Um, that's Bio Nicer, BG, um, Brim. Um, you got everybody from Angie Martinez, who's the number one um, rated uh, radio host in the whole country on her time slot. And she's Boricua here in um, Hot 97. You got... Uh, so many people, like, uh, you got Tony Touch, who's a legend, and he's been bringing that reggaeton back and forth. You got Noriega. You got Daddy Yankee. You got Tego. You got Don Omar. You got Evie Queen, who's representing the ladies in the, in the, in the reggaeton. You got Mark Anthony, who's the best singer on the planet Earth. Um, you got J-Lo. I mean, we could go on and, and, and on, of course, you know, Hector Lavoe is my favorite of all time. And um, Willie Colon, La Fania, Gran Combo, you know, uh, we, could, we could just go on and on for days. I mean, uh, what's so amazing, and this is amazing for your documentary, is that Puerto Rico's this big. I don't even think it's bigger than the Bronx. And when it comes to entertaining around the country, like we bring out the best entertainers through the whole world. So you go, when you're flying in and you see this little island and you say, and you compare it to the United States and overseas and all the other countries, you'd be like, yo, how could an island so small produce so many great um, entertainers and, and, and be so important? You know, because you, we we proud to be Puerto Rican and we Boricua, but we represent all the Latinos. We represent the Mexicans, the Dominicanos, the Ecuadorians, the Colombianos. We represent everybody. And it's almost crazy. Like sometimes when I see some of my black friends see some some somebody Spanish, they automatically Puerto Rican. Oh, those are the Puerto Ricans. 
And you know, he's Mexican. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it's a pleasure. You got Tito Trinidad, who get, he's the best boxer on earth. You know, Tito Nieves, who's, forget it. You know what I'm saying? Tito Nieves has been doing this for so long. He's a legend and, and just go on and on. I tell my son, I try to tell his grandmother and everybody to talk to him in Spanish all the time. Because you don't realize that it's the biggest gift on earth to be able to talk Spanish and talk English. You got the best of both worlds. And um, kids don't understand that. You know, the youth of today, they try to talk to their mothers and their grandmothers in English and forget the Spanish. Like, you are blessed to know Spanish. Like, you, you better learn Spanish, Spanish language because... Um, it's our language, man, and, and um, reggaeton is definitely making people learn Spanish and just being more, uh, more aware of the Spanish culture, and um, I'm proud of that. We brought Tito Trinidad into the ring when he fought De La Hoya and performed for him. Now. There isn't a boxing match you don't see on TV that doesn't have rappers on there. Um, we, we, we've done some, I mean, pave, paving the way, just being in the rap game for 13 years and not too many other Latinos, and I'm trying to show them the way, and, and, I, and I work with all of them, you know. I work with all of them. Like I said, I'm probably, I don't want to say the first, but if not the first, the first two to three rappers in general, no matter what race or, or whatever you from, eth ethnic background, to start my own clothing line. Now every rapper has a clothing line. Now rappers are actually selling sneakers for Reebok and all other companies more than athletes. You know, I started that. Um, what else could I toot my horn for, huh? Yeah, Puerto Rican Parade. You know, we were the first hip-hop group to ever be in the Puerto Rican parade performing. And now you see that parade is based on hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And ever since we did it, every other artist wants to go in there and do it. Um, we made people, most of all, proud of being Latino and being Boricua. When we came out with the song, Boricua Morena, just made you feel proud and, and, and really... Uh, represent who you are. Me, I can't hide it. You know, I'm, I'm light skin, green eyes, I'm Boricua. There's no, there's no way around it. So I have no choice, I'm Boricua, wherever I go, you know? So we make people feel proud of who they are. And, and just last night I did a concert with 10,000 people. I'm on tour with Nelly. And I seen one girl in the crowd with the flag and she thought I didn't see her for the first three songs I was performing. I'm like, yo ma, listen. You, I'm representing you. I know my Boricuas, and they go crazy, and 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 that's and that's amazing to me. And and um, we we've done so much to contribute to society in general, you know, and we just happen to be Boricuas doing it, you know, and um, and we 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 just honored to be Boricuas and to represent like that. Yeah.